Good morning. This is Maria, and I hope I didn't keep you waiting too long this time for my next video. But I'm excited about this one. This is a new uh, Daddy Long Legs for me, and this is the 1997 Santa edition. He is gorgeous, and of course, he's one of my favorites. Um, he comes with a Boyd teddy bear, kind of heavy too, with his little flowers and his little bell, an authentic Boyd's bear. Comes with his hat, like a velour hat, with his little bell. He's 30 inches tall. He was introduced in July of 97 and retired in June of 98, which is true of all of the Santas, introduced July of that year and retired June of the next year. I have just cataloged him. I haven't even placed him in my shelf yet. He was a Christmas gift from my family and I was so excited about him. But he has on a velour vest tied together with this tie. It's green and black and it's sleeveless and his shirt is red. It has little embroidered plastic buttons. So pretty. Long beard, blue pants, and his black Santa Claus boots. Like I said, he's 30 inches. He's huge. He's signed by Karen Germany. He's a heavy one too. There were 912 of these made. Like I've said in the past, they don't um, limit these by um, the number. They don't actually um, some are limited by number before they produce them. They only they know they're only going to produce a, some, a certain amount, and those are numbered. The Santas aren't numbered. Uh, they were, um, I think it was one special edition that was numbered. Uh, I don't remember offhand which one that was. I know there was a, a tapestry Santa that there were only um, a few made. Um, but most of the Santas, um, were not numbered. They were, um, uh, they, what they did was they would, uh, produce the, uh, amount that they were going to produce. They just, uh, produce supply and demand and they would count the number produced later and then put that information out as to how many were produced. And there were 912 of these, and I was lucky to get this one. Um, it had actually uh, sold on eBay. The um, I didn't have the money at the time and um, put it on my watch list, and it actually run a couple times, and nobody bid on it. And I saved it on my watch list. I wanted it. And I actually contacted the seller after I noticed it didn't sell and she still had it and uh asked her if she would sell it and she did and that's how i was lucky enough to get it so it's just some things to think about while you're trying to collect keep those things on your watch list and you never know you might be blessed with a santa i was lucky enough to be blessed with this one so i told my husband like, hey i want this so I got it for Christmas. But you meet uh, some wonderful, wonderful people who are just as interested in the dolls as you are. I've been doing my research. Um, and I'm going to do another video um, as to, I got one uh, doll that actually needed some repair. So I'm going to uh, do another video. Maybe my husband will uh, jump in and help me and show you actually how they're put together and how 
if you need to do some repairs, you can. So if you find a doll that you really want that's at a good price, that um, instead of turning it away because uh, it may need some assembly, I can show you how to get the doll you want for a good price and I can show you how to put it back together. I saw one um, natty doll and the head was separated and it's an easy fix. Um, so you might be able to get a doll at a good price, get the doll you want, put it back together. It's really easy and um, complete your collection. Um, but most of the people out there collecting um, either um, are collectors that um, have really good dolls or um, just want to get rid of the dolls and either way you can get uh, really good deals so um, I was lucky to get this one I'm so I'm so happy Santa's are slowly becoming my favorites they were my mother-in-law's favorites um, and I have another one over here that I just got that I didn't get a chance to open yet that will probably be my next video I'm going on vacation this week so I wanted to uh, do a video real quick and um, it'll be February 2nd when I get back technically it's not Christmas yet um, but I think I can squeeze one more Santa in <laughs> pretend like it's still Christmas um, and then I'll jump into some other dolls I was uh, lucky enough to get a pretty old doll. Um, I haven't been able to find a lot of information on it, but I want to share it with you anyway. So I'm going to conclude this video with a couple more pictures. And um, as always, thank you for sharing my collection with me. And if you have any questions, please post them. I'll try to answer them. I'm always looking for um if uh, looking for new information on the internet, if you have any information about this doll, please share. Uh, if it's any information I can find for you or I have, I'd love to share it with you. And I hope you have a great weekend or rest of your week. And as always, have a great day.